Hello all. I was just having a day today. It's one of those mornings where I'm feeling a little emotional and I remembered and I realized that one of the reasons that I always get emotional around this time of year is due to the LA riots. I was actually living back on the USC campus during the LA riots. So I wanted to do a little bit of an anniversary video about that. I know anniversary is such a strange word for that, but I wanted to do a bit of an anniversary video about that because it was such an arresting time in my life, like seriously. But essentially I was living down at USC and I was actually in Hollywood that day for a senior showcase for my school's theater company and I was ushering because I wasn't a senior in college quite yet but I was there and I was walking around Hollywood between the two there was a matinee and an evening show and I was walking around Hollywood and it was so quiet and so beautiful and there was a cat in the neighborhood this was in West Hollywood and West Hollywood as you know is I mean some of you know is very is very well known for being just um extremely affluent and just really nice and it was great so we were there and then one of the deans of our school came back from campus and he said "Ooh, things are going getting really kind of hairy down there they acquitted those police officers and I don't know so that night we left the theater and we were driving home and this might have been around nine o'clock at night and we were driving home and the streets were so quiet, like even in Hollywood, like nobody was out. And a car passed us and stopped next to us. And it was a mixed race car. Like I think there was a white girl, a black guy and somebody else. And they gave us the peace sign. And they were like, we have to stick together. And at that point, I just questioned my friends that I was riding with. And I was like, what the hell? Are we having a nuclear war? And they said, no, I don't know. So we get back on campus and as soon as we get off the freeway exit like right around campus that's when we start to hear the helicopters we hear the sirens we smell the smell of the smoke and it was just weird it's like right when we hit that exit before i didn't smell anything which was so strange and we got off the freeway and there were flares everywhere and cops everywhere and uh my friend was he was like a graduate student he was driving some of us home and we got to the entrance of the campus and the cop was like the police officer was just like okay where are you going sir and he goes oh i'm gonna just drop this girl off and the cop goes okay well do me a favor you get her where she needs to go and you go where you need to go and you get home safely and um and just make sure that everybody gets home safe so he dropped me off i get home i have like a thousand messages on my phone from my mom saying they acquitted those police officers just be careful blah 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 blah, blah. and so i was in my apartment my roommate had actually gone home for the weekend so i had the place all to myself there weren't a lot of people there that weekend i know that somebody came back from across the street and we had this am pm from across the street and i lived on the southernmost side of campus so there was an am pm across the street and they the person came back because they just wanted to get an ice cream and i'm like you want to get an ice cream <laughs> during the riots okay so they came back and they were just like yeah you know we saw this guy get shot on the corner and somebody just picked him up because the, the ambulances were so tied up that even if you'd called an ambulance, there would, be, there would have been like a really rare chance that anybody would have gotten you and certainly not on time. So a good Samaritan covered the guy up, bloody at all, and took him to the hospital. And so they saw all that. And then I was just in my apartment alone listening to talk radio. And there were all these reports of like, this is going on in Crenshaw and such and such. Now this happened, this attack happened on such and such and such and such. So I was getting sort of just minute by minute reports of everything that was going down in the city. And so I was awake like really, really late that night. And all of a sudden, like at around three o'clock in the morning, everything stopped. Everything died down. The The helicopters stopped the sirens stopped because it was all helicopters and sirens and the smell of smoke and it all stopped and there was a courtyard out in the apartment that I lived in and one by one all of the birds just started singing and they started singing really loudly and that just almost never happens so that happened and then 
And then I just remember eventually we were moved to the center of campus. There was this phys ed building in the center of campus and we were all moved there. And that was like the second night of the riots. And we just stayed in there. And it was so weird because you want to, you want to picture a tableau that's a sign of the times, just kids lined up, lined up, lined up, waiting to use the pay phones to call their parents. So that was what was happening. And, um, and it was so funny because not funny, but like during that time, a lot of what I was thinking about was the kitten that I had seen on the street in West Hollywood that day and hoping that the kitten was all right. <laughs> so, but we moved, we got moved to the center of campus just for security reasons because we were all on the south side. And so we were on the south side of campus and we just got moved to, for security reasons. So there was a bunch of kids like standing in line waiting for the payphones to call their parents. And again, this was on the second night. Sorry, I keep pausing. I keep sort of getting interrupted. But um, so that happened. And it was so weird because somebody had snuck into the phys ed building and they were stealing. Like they were basically mugging kids wallets out of their sleeping bags. It was really, really strange. It was just like to add, you know, it was like adding insult on top of injury. And then the very next day, one of my friend's fathers drove up from San Diego and, oh yes, and of course I remember the National Guard surrounding our campus. And, oh, not only that, my friend Mark, oh, my friend Mark and Joe went out on their dirt bikes. I have no idea why they did this, like the second day of the riots. So they were riding around and they, oh, there's my windshields. Oh, the burn donuts. They were riding around on their bikes and they stopped at the back of this TV store where people were looting the TV store. And I always thought it was so stupid on the news. Like they would say like, oh, on the corner of, you know, Normandy and such and such, there's looting going on. Oh, great. So now everybody knows where to go to loot. That was the dumbest thing. This is what I don't understand about the news. I mean, people want to talk about fake news, but they also give people tons of ideas about how people do their crimes, how serial killers commit their killings, and they give publicity to the killers. So who are they lauding here? But regardless... So my friend Mark, this is where my friends Mark and Joe were at this um, TV store and everybody was looting, coming in, coming out. And it was actually, aside from the stealing, there was a lot of brotherly love going on. At least they felt that vibe. But then all of a sudden this van with sawed off shotguns, with these guys with sawed off shotguns, stopped at the back of the store. A guy got out and a few people scurried out. I guess they escaped before he got in there and they heard one gunshot and they rode away. So I guess the guy went and staked his claim there. But anyway, we went down to San Diego and as we were driving down to San Diego just to get out of the city, um, I did witness one last thing, which was a bunch of men with their own shotguns standing on top of a parking garage. So it was crazy. And the National Guard actually stayed on campus and around campus for a few weeks after it happened. But it was really, really crazy. So that's my LA riot story. It was really, really weird. And that's what happened. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. And other than that, I hope you're having a good day. And I will talk soon. Okay, bye.